Somehow in this country, we seem to have gotten focused on using those scores as a way of measuring teachers. How did we get there? Well, the first thing to recognize is that we are the most overtested nation in the world. What other countries do, I think, more intelligently is they have very high standards for entry into teaching, and then they give teachers professional autonomy, and they let teachers write their own tests because the teachers know what they taught. Now, when you rely on standardized testing as much as we do, you reinforce a meritocracy, uh, giving to those who, you know, the Matthew effect, those who have get more, those who have the least get less. What does work, I think, is if you pay people more to do more. Uh, if they take on extra responsibilities, uh, if they have spend extra time, uh, then they feel fairly compensated. Uh, what doesn't work is to say, I'll pay you based on your students' test scores, because then the teachers who have the most difficult students end up looking bad. College and career ready, a big phrase. What's well, you know, it's who, who can be opposed to college and career ready? I'm concerned about being citizenship ready. I mean, there are a lot of life skills that children need to learn. Uh, and, and in terms of citizenship ready, we want people to be able to have the wisdom to vote intelligently, choose our leaders. Yeah. Uh, we want them to be able to serve on a jury, make decisions about other people's lives and fates. Um, I think that, um, you know, I can't object to college and career ready, but I think it's too narrow a goal. Two different concepts at war here. One concept of education is that the purpose of education is to rank children, to give them a number and say, you're the best and you're the worst and here's where you fit in. It's a ranking and rating system. We're preparing them for global competition. We have to toughen them up and the weak ones are going to fall by the wayside. There's a different con concept of education and that is that the purpose of education is for human development and that all of us and all of our children deserve the best education possible to make us the best human beings we can be. And it's not about ranking and rating. And there are many wonderful schools, most of them are private schools, that don't give any standardized tests and they come out just fine. And my school is one of the small schools in a school that has five schools. And I worked in the school when it was one school. And I was just wondering what your opinions were about the co-locations. Um, I think that uh, there is no ideal school size. Small schools work, large schools work. Uh, large schools can offer more variety of courses. Uh, if you have a large school, you get more advanced courses in math and in science. If the school is 300 kids, you can't possibly have a faculty large enough to offer the advanced courses. You also can't provide for the kids who are ELLs. So, there are advantages to both.